There's all this sudden smog that's hit America, yeah. on the East Coast right now. I think it's a decoy. It is. I think they're flying some UFOs through that smoke, baby. You fucking right they we got, are. We got the right correspondent that we're going to call this Whew. evening on the pod to 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 talk UFOs. We have a very informed uh, UFO correspondent yeah. that I've talked to beforehand. Mm-hmm. He goes by Naeem Ali. Yeah. Very informed. He posts wild UFO videos yeah. every week that is... The coolest shit and most captivating videos that I've been seeing on the internet. Every time Naeem posts a video on Instagram, I'm messaging him like, dude, this is crazy, dude. How, <laughs> how is how is the, the press not talking about this? Yeah. So Do, we're going to call him. They, yeah, Naeem is often referred to as the Bob Lazar of the black community. And He's the I, black Bob Lazar. Yeah, that's what we're going to call him, the black Bob <laughs> Lazar. <laughs> yeah, dude. Bob dude. Lazar has been in Area 51. He's worked on some of these ships, but Naeem has seen some shit in South Philadelphia. So this is who our correspondent is. We've named a sports correspondent who I don't think is alive anymore. Naeem is stepping into this role. We're going to give him a ring, and we're going to hear all about what is going on so yeah. that you guys are informed for anything that you might see in the greater Philadelphia yeah. area when the smog clears. I want to get the scoop. Um, let's see if he picks up. I know he's at Helium right now. And then we're going to have him on in uh, in the studio. We're so. going to have him live in studio to go over this once the government is done tracing him. Yeah. There he is, yeah, our bro, UFO bro. correspondent. That's right. Naeem, you're live on the cast. Yeah. Fresh off of a UFO sighting in Boston on Friday. Get the uh, what? Get right into it. I love this, dude. Give yes. me the scoop. What's going on? So we're in Boston on whatever the fuck their stupid highways is called. McDoobie, <laughs> McRubble, <laughs> Mc whatever the fuck Irish name is yeah, called. Yeah, McDonald's. I think it's the McRib. Is actually his back. It might be the McRib Highway. <laughs> it might. It really might be. They, they 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 only open it like every other year. Yep. Yeah. But we was on we was on that highway and we're driving. And um, my the the we was all in my son's coach's um, we was all in my son's coach's um, SUV and he had the like you know how they got the cars now with the panoramic roof so you could just look up right yeah mm-hmm. so ahead of us he's like the the coach his name Coach Line he's like what the fuck is that so I'm looking there's something streaking across the sky so you know I'm all into UFOs but <laughs> honestly I don't trust myself most of the time so I'm like you know what. I'm like, it's probably just a shooting star. I know, we're and biased. They just made a hard ass fucking 100 degree turn, bro. That shit what? Fucking, not a 90 degree turn, a hard ass 100 degree turn. That, that shit made an acute angle, bro. You see what I'm saying? My fault, I'm an obtuse angle. That shit Damn. Made I was going to say, you're, you're using some lingo that I can't remember since the physics class I failed in high school. <laughs> Get out of Damn. here. Damn. Geometry down, bro. <laughs> is, is this the first UFO that you've ever seen personally? Yes. Wow. I thought I saw one one time before, but it was 5 o'clock in the morning. I was leaving the show high and drunk, so I was like, you know what? This don't count. You know what <laughs> yeah, yeah. You could have been uh, you could have been dreaming it up. But you've been right. posting. Every video you've been posting, at least once a week, I'm seeing the most interesting UFO video on your Instagram where I'm messaging you like, bro, what the fuck's going on here? <laughs> right. The, the right. one it's that you me. posted... You posted one. Did y'all, see, did y'all see when Logan Paul fought in like March or April? What he said afterwards? Did y'all hear what he said? No. Oh, I I, I think okay. I briefly know what you're talking about, but but uh, but go ahead just so we okay, for the so, listeners. Man, all and seven. This is the weirdest shit anybody's ever said after winning the fight. He wins the fight. They interview him. They ask him about the fight, and his first thing is the first thing he says is, "Listen, I'm I, I paid money to get close to some very like top secret people." He was like, the aliens are coming in June. This whole shit is simulation. And, and we're, he like, and I'll release everything in June after the aliens come out so you guys all can see. In June? And what month is it, bro? It is June, it is June. now. You bet your ass it is. Bro, and, what, and what's been happening all crazy the I last s- fucking two, I'll say the last two, three months. Dude, it's crazy. Of stuff course that- they come during Black History Month. You're like, can you give us one? <laughs> Goddamn month, dude. Yeah, well, no, that was happening back. Was it happening in February, too? Well, you better stay inside on Juneteenth, I tell you what. I mean, I mean, I mean yeah, the Juneteenth holiday and Pride Month, I mean. Dude, they're coming. I like they doing it uh, during Pride Month. Fuck it, step on this month. <laughs> they're, they're down here. They're down here for research purposes. Well, during yeah, do you think aliens are gay? Because they are always probing people. Yeah. Oh, they are. You're right. Do you think Damn. that's why they're like, you know what, we're coming to celebrate, have a good <laughs> I don't, time? Come I don't on. Think so much that they're gay, I think they're bisexual. I think they're just like any hole. You know <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's good. What now? What kind of yeah, tunes? They're, gen- they're gender neutral, if, it, if anything. Dude, if True. once once they come into our atmosphere during Pride Month, what kind of tunes do you think they're blasting in those spaceships? 
It's raining, man. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's, they, that's, that's what the um y'all seen when the, the alien spaceship landed in Vegas. That's what they said. They said it was playing. It's raining, man. And why? <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's what they said. I did see that news story in Vegas about the guys calling nine one one, right? Yes, and you, the craziest part about it is that the cops saw it before they even yeah. called. Had the body cam like, footage. Yeah, they had the body cam footage. And they the said clinic. nine feet tall? Yes, nine feet tall. And, 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 you see, at first everybody was saying, yo, it was a crash, but it wasn't. Those bitches landed and then moved up. And, and any of y'all can look this up. Look on Google Maps. Well, go on Google first and find these people's address. And go on Google Maps and look at their backyard. It's it's like a circular crop circle type thing right there. And Whoa. that bitch landed and then took the fuck back off. I did see that. That they said that they were like they caused a circular pattern in the ground or something yep. from walking around. Yeah. yeah. The, the, that really scared the shit out of me when the guys and like you know in the video the cops are saying. Normally, I'd be skeptical, but my partner saw it on. Uh, he saw the the same thing. We got yes. it on the body cam footage, and they're like, yes. they called. And they're like something that's like nine to ten feet tall with huge eyes, dude. What huge the fuck? Eyes. Damn, bro, it's crazy, dog. But I, you know what? I love it because, in all honesty, yo, my whole life I felt like we was playing the game. Like yeah. this shit don't feel real, bro. Like, and what I mean by that is like, the, all right, the first thing that hit me was like money. Money makes no sense. Yeah. Uh huh. And like y'all know, I went to school for accounting and finance and shit. Like it, we, it's a game. It yeah. makes no. We have unlimited resources. Why the fuck are we limiting them with a fucking thing? Yeah. yeah. Like now, we could all just be living and having fun and you know, just living in a free world. But now, it's what do you think your money game. What do you think your theory is for why they would? I mean, I, obviously, like I, the the general theory of like, hey, why would anybody come visit the planet? It's like. You know, research, you know, it's like, why, why do we research animals in the jungle and stuff like it? It's interesting. Right. So I can see that. But do you think that, you know, like the Logan Paul thing coming in June, do you think there's some sort of purpose? Uh, well, this is what I think it is, in all honesty. I, I think you have to respect the natural uh, order of nature. And I think with that being said, if we think about how we look at lesser conscious beings, that's what this is, I think. I think this is more so like a zoo or ant farm yeah. or just something where they're like, oh, let's just observe these things that we, you know, genetically engineered to grow and evolve. And Because think about it like this, bro. I don't know if y'all watched that four-hour press conference on CBS News, but... Just clips like, of it, not the whole okay. thing. So the, uh, so there was uh, one of the guys on there, um, some mil- some military guy, and like he said, they've been here way before us. Yeah. So it's not that they're visiting Earth. We they put us here somehow. So that that's the the big theory that I've heard is that the theory that they came down here forever ago and they genetically sped up our evolution as primates. Yep. What? Yeah, mm. yeah, that's, that's wild. wild. But but here goes the thing. Here's the thing. That's a beautiful thing, bro. Because what that means is they are acting like they're like bees with pollen. You see what I'm saying? So we probably gonna end up being like them. We probably gonna end up having all the shit they have, yeah, and doing all that shit. And the thing is, I think now that I think what's actually happening is that our technology has gotten to the point where they're like, all right, we got to get these motherfuckers to the next level. We gonna crack the fourth wall, let them see what's really going on. Yes, and I think a lot of shit about to be different, bro. That's so, what I was. That's what I was about to say. I'm wondering, like, have we gotten to the point where you know we all have phones? There's so much documentation where it's hard mm-hmm. to de- deny that the cat's out of the bag, and they're like, all right, well, they're getting too close. We got to start slowly, kind of like rolling out what's yes. going on, but slowly. Yeah, sl- yeah, slowly, because they don't want us to go crazy. You know, they don't want everybody to lose their mind. But also, they don't want us to fucking destroy ourselves. So I think that's why they're coming in there. Like, bro, I saw some shit the other day, dog. We had, like, these scientists that made fucking artificial cells. I that, saw that. They can multiply. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Well, actually, I, I'm only seeing that. I get all of my news from you on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, literally, you're my main news source for all this stuff. Yeah. Well, that's not that's not good. You're the, you're, you are the Black Bob Lazar, <laughs> yeah. you've been saying. Yeah. <laughs> I, but I also spread a lot of anti-China propaganda. <laughs> Can we, yeah, that's true. Can we trust you? Are you a government agent, perhaps? All right, put it like this. <laughs> Anything that got to do with the aliens and all that, I'm going to be honest about. When it comes to the Chinese, I'm going to lean into not liking them. Just let you know, bro. Let y'all yeah. know. 
I'm just letting you know. But any, anything else, bro, I'm just being, I'm just calling it how it is. Well, right. Now, what would you recommend people do uh, in the event that there's a full blown out in the open invasion? What should people do to protect themselves or not even protect themselves, become friends with these beings? What will you yes. be doing when you actually see one land? Protection isn't the problem. You don't have to. I don't think you have to protect yourself. I think that the, what you got to do is you got to get clear minded, bro. Mm-hmm. Like we gotta, we, you you gotta be ready to receive whatever the fuck coming. And you can't receive that if you drunk, high, fucking. So have you been I, getting yourself ready? Are you mentally prepared? You know, I've been slowing down a lot uh, <laughs> right now. I'm at Helium Comedy Club, drunk. So, you know? <laughs> I've been. Down what would you do if you met? Like, I, like genuinely think about it. Like, if you actually, they roll it out. They go, look, we have bodies. Here is evidence. Naeem, come in and check this out. Like, how do you think you would? Would you be terrified, or would you just be like, you know what? Kind of expected this. This is crazy to finally confirm it. I would be terrified, but also. I would have to go in to confirm. I would yeah. have to, but I would be terrified. I yeah, one hundred percent would be terrified because you know my biggest fear is things that know exactly what I'm thinking at all times, which that's I feel like they do. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's my biggest because because look, in all honesty, death is final. You see what I'm saying? But if at all times you know what I'm thinking, what the fuck am I going to do that? Yeah, I think about weird shit. This time we're just randomly. I think about titties, bro. I want to be like this guy's an idiot. He just thought about titties for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> think about he just met aliens for the first time. And he's thinking about titties bouncing up and down. Yeah. It's like there's nothing else on this guy's mind. He's got no other questions. He's still thinking <laughs> right. about tits. <laughs> right. And that was suck. They were like, you know what? Nah, get another guy, not him. And I'm like, fuck. Damn. I blew it. I, well, I've been doing exactly what you said, is that you just got to prepare to receive whatever has been coming. So I've been getting very flexible and lubricating my ass for weeks now, <laughs> waiting for this probe to come into South Jersey. Yeah, no. The uh, probe is coming. Yeah, dude. They, <laughs> they are going to put some things in your ass, bro. And it's like, all right, but you know what? Though? I'm going to tell you something right now. I ain't gay, bro. But whatever alien tell me to do, I'm going to do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to listen. I, yeah. You don't have much of an option at that point. You don't know what they're capable of. You kind of you don't have just an go. option. They, they're a way smarter thing, dog. Like, you, you know what's what's interesting too is like that the sighting that we were just talking about, where the people were like nine, ten feet tall. Then you also hear a ton of the classic stories where they're little and what you would picture in like the movies and stuff. So, are, are there multiple? I mean, I assume there's multiple like universes. Oh, there's types. multiple ships. For but sure, like, and it's all types of different species. And also, I think the things that they're sending here isn't them. It's not them. I think they got like, I think they got like drone people. Yeah, I, I was gonna say. I wonder if there's even uh, in these UFOs. A lot of times, if if there's even pilots, because why would they need that? They, if they have that technology, they could just send the like a remote right. control. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So Do you think I there's think more I, in the ocean or like you know? Yes, they are. They, I think it's a, I think it's a ton of them in the ocean, dog. Like, yeah. bro, all right, look, think, think about this right now, man. Look up, uh, if you y'all can look up Christopher Columbus's manifesto that he had when he was on his goddamn boat, right? Mm-hmm. His travel log. Look that shit up. Really? This motherfucker didn't know if, if natives was real, but but he knew that he saw a flashing light come out of the ocean and fly into the heavens. He saw that, and he wrote that shit down. I remember hearing this. That's I remember, hilarious yeah. that he yeah. believed that more than he believed that Indians were on the land that yeah. he discovered. <laughs> he, didn't know, he didn't know that fucking Indians was real, bro. But in his mind, but he knew for a fact that, yo, we in the middle of the ocean somewhere, and this flashing light came out of the ocean, the whole crew saw it, and then it flew into the heavens. Wow. I I he said, he said he said he said he said it moved faster than anything he ever fucking saw. Yeah, you know and saying, a- anything flying back then, it, like how could you make that up? It's not like you can mistake it for a plane back then. <laughs> yeah. Oh fuck, you about to ruin me, bro. Yo, Shana, uh, Shana right here. He heard me. He heard me say. He heard me say. <laughs> say I'm not gay, but anything an alien tell me to do. He put that shit on fucking. He about to. He Facebooked it. He put. He tweeted that shit. He about to ruin my. <laughs> Listen, dude, we we stand with you. I mean, you're our main source of information, so you know we we stand behind you. Literally, I'm, I'm the ultimate progressive person, honestly. Yeah, you're you're getting prepared for whatever the aliens are gonna come yeah. down and say, Naeem, fuck yes. it, t- take that dick out. Yeah. <laughs> come on, take that dick out. Let me see that dick you got. We got some experimentation <laughs> to do. Yeah. 
<laughs> They're coming for you. Where do you get most? Of, you, you find the most interesting TikToks that I've never seen. Like, where are you just? You're just fi- like, where do you find these? Well, it's, it's honestly, it's my algorithm, dog. And my, now mine's getting like that because of you. My <laughs> algorithm is just you know filled saying? with UFO shit, and I'm like, having nightmares exactly. at night. Oh, same. I had a nightmare last night, <laughs> but that's the, it's the most important thing, dog. I hate that everybody's talking about anything else. That bothers me the most. Why the uh, fuck yes. are we talking about the NBA finals? Fuck basketball, bro. It's aliens. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> like we we <laughs> just we basketball. Come on. The yeah. fact that we're having I'm, the government whistleblower, like obviously, like there's you know skeptics for for everything, but coming out and confirming, like yeah, no, the whole time we've had them, we've had a yes. secret program, it's and nobody's talking about it, right, bro? This, this 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 is how deep it is right now. There's actually a lawsuit where there are government officials, congressmen, shit like that. They're suing like the they're suing the like the fed basically or the federal government because they're like why the fuck was all you can't hide shit from the senate and the yeah Congress. for for keeping you know it saying? from them yeah yeah so there's like congressmen and senators that's like yo we suing the fuck out of y'all now because you got it y'all got we we need everything all this slow exposure no give us everything y'all got i don't even understand like i i get the only theory i can think of of why they would do that is just it's just a race for whatever country can back engineer whatever they're finding to use that technology against like hey we know the shit so china russia you guys don't fuck with us because we know how to build a fucking ufo or like yeah and you're 100 percent right i think i think i think you're i think think the re i think is the i don't think the mass hysteria thing was true i think that was some bullshit they was that like people like me and you were saying like oh no they're just hiding it because they don't want us to go crazy no i don't think they don't give a fuck about that yeah they want the power on us yeah they want the power yeah so i think i think with them it's a thing where like yeah we we found some shit the chinese government got some shit the russian government got some shit but who can back engineer this shit first you see what i'm saying and we don't want these other governments to know how much shit we found we don't know if we found a whole the whole fucking flying saucer we don't know we talked to the communicated with the fucking actual pilots of these stuff we don't want anybody to know anything so i get that but i think the problem is like we think we're so tribal we got to work together Yeah, we're tribal yeah right we're tribal whereas these people are flying through dimensions and shit like that they in anti-gravity machines this ain't got nothing to do with propulsion this anti-gravity shit so they obviously aren't tribal people they obviously aren't here to conquer shit because they took it already they could have took it in a second. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And 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 in all actuality, bro, I had a, I had a, I'm about to get too deep. Y'all caught me at the. Y'all caught me <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, this is going to be an ongoing <laughs> segment. I Helium, I was watching. Uh, I think it's X Men. <laughs> we're we're gonna have to. I mean, obviously, we, we need <laughs> you to come <laughs> yeah, in person. What? You, yes. Every time, every time, anytime you want to call me, let me know. You got to come over here. We'll all put on tinfoil yeah, over our heads sure. so they yeah. can't read our minds. I, so, Let's get our We're hats gonna, on. Let's get lubed up and get you over here. We'll get. We'll have. I would definitely do it. A fifty. <laughs> a fifty-five gallon drum of, drum of lube, and we're gonna be like the movie Signs from M Night with Mel Gibson. We're gonna put tinfoil hats on, and we're gonna yell about the Jews, and then we're gonna talk aliens. <laughs> so let's Hell do it up. Yeah, do do, do you like, think? You gotta do it. Who do you think is a anybody on this planet is a plant that aliens put here, and they're aliens, and we don't know it? I'm thinking Zuckerberg, maybe Musk. Is there anybody that comes to mind for you? Musk for sure. Musk, a hundred percent for sure. They're yeah. both like reptilian type of people. Like they're not even human. They're, there's those guys definitely are, and they're some of the most powerful, rich people, and they were planted here. Mm-hmm. That's I can get behind that. Last question, and then we'll we'll let you go. Um, so, being like, let's assume this is a simulation. You die. And you, look, look, you know, you, you know how you know it. You know how you know. You know how you know Elon Musk is one of them. He said it's, it's likely a simulation. He said that. Yeah. Oh, you know, look, so look, this is how you know Elon Musk is one because he doesn't even believe he he he, he keeps saying they're not real. Yeah, this that's is true. A simulation, bro. That's yeah. true. Yeah, he said he's Elon Musk. Said they're not real. So let let's say it is a simulation. Yeah. You die. You kind of tap out. So somebody that somebody that's that smart. <laughs> Somebody that's that smart saying that they aren't real. Come on, dog. Get the fuck out of here. You yeah. don't want them. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, you know that he's lying when he starts denying shit like that. Yeah, it's like bringing up a picture of a disgusting girl he fucked in college, and you're like, no, no, I didn't do that. It's like, yeah, yeah. you fucking. He's did. an undercover cop. They're like, they're like, we yeah, got I you, think, guy. No, no, I think, I think you die. I think you die. You come. I think because it's a simulation, you die. You come right back, bro. Hell or yeah. do you die and then you wake up in whatever other dimension where you're like, oh, like. It like the Matrix, like you tap out and you're like, oh shit, that game was wild. <laughs> yeah, you know, 
Damn. And then you can maybe be like, all right, let's let's fire up another game. I'll go back in. One hundred percent. Oh, like like 100%. Westworld. You ever watch that? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's like that. Oh, all right, dude. Well, yeah. this was the most interesting segment we've had in a while. Yeah. Thank you for yeah, the uh, for the updates. Bro, call me anytime. Let me know you want me to come through, and I'll be there, bro. Yeah, we're, we're gonna need you. some of this infiltrated in South Jersey. It. We'll have you over, and we'll provide the tin foil. All right, Naeem okay. Lazar, you, you heard it here first. Naeem Lazar. <laughs> Naeem Lazar, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. We'll see you. All right, bro. Thank see you, later, bro. Yep. Yeah. Pretty wild stuff, huh? 